This week on WDD's Hotspot, chipmaker Efficient Power Conversion announced the launch of a new line of semiconductors made from gallium nitride, a material that's 10 times faster than silicon and many believe represent the future of the semiconductor industry. The new chips are designed specifically to support wireless power systems. Thus far, wireless power systems have failed to take off as anticipated, partly for lack of a universally accepted technology standard. At this point, there are at least two competing standards, Qi, which is backed by the Wireless Power Consortium, and Resins, which is supported by the Alliance for Wireless Power. Resins is based on the principle of magnetic resonance, a form of inductive coupling that uses a magnetic field to transfer power between devices. Magnetic resonance enables multiple devices to be charged simultaneously without being precisely aligned with the energy source. Although many consider this to be the future of wireless power, Qi got an earlier start in the market and is backed by some industry giants, including Qualcomm, Microsoft, Sony, and LG. EPC's chips are designed to support magnetic resonance systems covered by the resin standard. The battle for this mass market is best efficiency at the lowest cost. The use of gallium nitride enables EPC to reduce the number of components on the wireless transmitter, as well as the overall system size and to lower the cost of the integrated circuits. EPC believes that gallium nitride will replace silicon transistors across the broad range of technologies, not just wireless power. Umbrellas have always been a pretty straightforward and handy tool, but now Has Digital, a startup dedicated to the integration of Internet of Things devices, has created the world's first smart umbrella. That's right, a smart umbrella. The device frees users from traditional umbrellas by way of a built-in high-precision motor, microchip controller, and high-capacity lithium-ion battery, which allows it to open, extend, and close with the push of a single button. Ready for use or storage in under two seconds, the umbrella is fully automated and convenient for users who are carrying multiple objects. The device is also embedded with smart anti-loss capabilities. By integrating Bluetooth low energy technology, the embedded chipset is able to connect to the user's mobile phone. So if the umbrella moves out of the signal range, the phone will notify the user that the umbrella has been left behind along with its last known location. The Has Umbrella app also doubles as a weather reminder in case you forget to check the weather forecast. By positioning your location, the app will send a notification to your smartphone when the umbrella should be carried, such as during, well, rain. In the words of Rihanna, you can stand under my umbrella. Ella. Ella. A. 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 In recent years, Moore's Law, which held true for more than four decades, began to seem in danger of collapsing. Theoretical physicists predicted that the law would soon break down, arguing that computer power can't maintain rapid exponential improvements with standard silicon technology. The issue is not that transistors can't physically get any smaller, because, well, they can, but too many chips packed into such a small area ineffectively suck up power and can cause overheating. Techies can now all breathe freely again as IBM has announced its development of a fingernail-sized computer chip that has roughly four times more processing power than ever before. The transistors in IBM's new chip are seven nanometers long in size, an industry record. The company was able to make its breakthrough due to the use of silicon germanium, a material that has lower power requirements than silicon, and speeds up transistor switching. There is no information yet on when the chip will be commercially available, but the company believes the new seven nanometer technology could be crucial in meeting the demands of future cloud computing and big data systems, as well as cognitive computing, mobile products, and other emerging technologies. And all thanks to IBM, it looks as though the two-year rule of Moore's Law will continue thriving for at least a few more years. Two German interaction design students have created a machine for bioprinting meat. They named it The Cultivator, which sounds like a new movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get to the chopper! The device, intended to raise many questions about meat consumption, is aimed at middle-class kitchens with the idea that people will eat less portions of meat in the future and design their food to meet personal dietary requirements. The cultivator is also energy efficient and uses solar panels to attain its energy or as a backup the house's supply. Now, the machine wouldn't necessarily pop out delicious skirt steaks. Rather, the created meat uses advancements in printing to include a correct balance of nutrients and flavor, focusing on technical necessity and resulting in an arbitrarily shaped representation of meat. 
doesn't sound very appealing, but the designers want you to bear in mind that the livestock industry accounts for approximately 14.5% of all greenhouse gas emissions. I don't know about you, but suddenly I have a hankering for a big, juicy, off-the-cow cheeseburger. That's all for this week's video. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and catch past episodes on wirelessdesignmag.com. For the WDD channel, I'm Sarah Goncalves. Thanks for watching. My eyes! <laughs> I didn't see my pants! Oh my gosh! I hope you enjoy it. I'm the worst. In the words of Rihanna, you can stand under my umbrella. <laughs> as well as the overall. S <laughs>